Hello, hello, welcome into another reading. Today we're looking into the person on your mind. What are their current feelings about you? We're gonna do a little bit of spying. Guys, I created a fun new TikTok account. It's called The Country Club Witch, or you can find me over there. It's The Country Club Witch. So I post like little funny things. If you saw my short today or yesterday, whenever I post this, um, you'll catch the vibe. It's funny. All right, let's see. What is, what's, what's the person on your mind's current feelings about you? Breathe, inhale, exhale, create space within. So songs I got on shuffle, two Doja Cat songs actually, Ain't Shit and um, Naked. I feel like this person has a lot of sexual attraction towards you. I also feel like they're trying to play it cool. I feel like they're trying to play it cool and act like they're not as interested as like they are. Um, they're trying to like breathe through, like I feel like there's a lot of passion here and I'm talking like physical desire. So even with the breathe, like it's like they're trying to act like they're trying to play it cool. Um, you know, there's another song, it's like, um, it's called Breathe, I think. And it's like trying to play it cool, but it's getting hard to breathe. It's not a thing, I'm just a mm -hmm. I tell myself I'm not that into you. Um, but I don't wanna know. It's quarter after three. Yeah, in my head like dun 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 dun. That's how they feel. Remember who you are, return to your root. This person is trying to ground. Ground their energy. Jeez, uh, jeez, they have to focus. They gotta focus. Hard work and commitment. I gotta focus. And you're over here like on my mind all the time. They're like, damn, did this person put a spell on me? What is going on? What is happening? All right, let's see. We got the Aries full moon coming up. I posted a little breakdown in my membership community about the Aries full moon. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So there could be a conversation coming in surrender to the divine yeah i feel like this person is like trying to fight this energy because they've got other things that they need to focus on and they feel like when they think of you it's like a distraction and then we have a win-win outcome is forecast but i do feel like there is some kind of energy here around them giving in them giving in and there could be a conversation that's had and i get the gist that this conversation is going to be like how can we how can we find some kind of compromise here and it's kind of funny because it's like the compromise is really what they want to have with themselves we have leo i will so this could be um talking about self-expression we have first house the body okay i'm getting really specifically something some of you like work with your body some of you like have some kind of creative process that's heavily dealing with your body. Um, like your body is your art. Your body is, my body is my temple type of vibes. But some of you could be models. Some of you could be just somebody who works with your body, like fitness instructors. Um, but like your body is your art. Your body is your body of work something like that okay or like your physical appearance is your creative expression 10th house of the world um or you're gonna be like um because the 10th house is about public career image uh reputation so this is like heavily tied in with um there's something about and it could be this person too it could be this person too this is their line of work um, like there's something about them being creative and that being on display and them being kind of like this persona, this persona out in the world. Um, and like that might even tie into why they're trying to push this off. Like there might be some kind of image thing. 
going on in this situation. Let's get some cards. We've got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, ooh, God, the cards are falling out, Shell. What is this person's current feelings? Two of Swords. Yeah, they're trying so hard to, like, not be as invested as they are. Or trying to convince themselves. This person is lying to themselves. What's going on here? What are their current thoughts and feelings about you? The Page of Cups. Um, this person says wild ride, guys. Because they're like, don't want to do it, but then also want to come forward. It's like they can't resist. So this Page of Cups is like a small little offering. I do feel like this person's going to be playing it cool. This person's playing it cool. What's going on here, please? The King of Wands and the Six of Crystals. So Six of Crystals, the Six of Pentacles is all about reciprocity. Um, so there is something that they want like some kind of balance in, like some kind of compromise, like I'll do this and you do this. Do I like that energy? I don't know because it's like this person is trying to find some kind of balance for themselves, but they're kind of projecting that onto you. What is this? balance or this win-win that this person is wanting here the ace of crystals what is this win-win <laughs> my god what is this win-win that this person wants here the eight of wands um okay this is so funny sometimes i tap into these energies and i'm like these people are wild okay sometimes the messages that come through i'm like this is this is wild so this person, when I say like they'll win-win, they're almost going to proposition you with something like this is a great opportunity for you. This is a great opportunity for you and you should come along and you should agree to this. You should agree to this. Like they're going to be like, so we should probably get married. So I'm thinking we should probably get married and that will be great because you'll be able to do this and I'll be able to do this. Or like, you should come on this trip because like, it's gonna be great for you and then it's gonna be great for me. When in reality, it's like, they're trying to play it off as like, they're trying to sell you something when it's like, wait, why are you, why are you trying to make this seem like it's like, they're trying to make it seem like a win-win here instead of just being like, hey, would love for you to come on this trip with me, would love to commit to you for the rest of my life. You know, they're, they're playing, they're playing this little game. Okay, what is this proposition that they're going to be making you? The high priestess. I think you know, I think you kind of sense it coming. And the seven of pentacles. I think you sense it coming because it's been a long time coming. The Eight of Cups. And the Tower card. Okay, so there could be like a walking away of sorts. What is this Eight of Cups Tower here? The Seven of Swords. Okay, so there's definitely something like something that was maybe hidden because the Seven of Swords can talk about like deception okay um i think there's something that you know and it could be that they have feelings for you okay it could just be like they've been hiding their feelings for you but there's something that i feel like they're the tower is like crumbling for them like the mask is falling off the mask is falling off they can't continue keeping up the mask anymore but i feel like this is something you've like intuitively known and you've been waiting on you're like uh-huh uh-huh oh you want to get married to me oh you you're in love with me oh man i didn't know i had no idea it's the vibe um what's this person's next action towards you gonna be please the sun card expressing themselves expressing regret too for the past we do have the six of cups so i feel like um there's like a reconnection happening here or some kind of nostalgia the six of cups can represent um a reconciliation of sorts uh i'm i took you for granted i didn't appreciate what i had i think that this is more of like 
them in their life in general. Like there is not just you, but there's a lot of things that I'm taking for granted in my life. I think that they're embarrassed to admit that. They're embarrassed to admit that they like at times struggle with like a little bit of depression and like not being in enjoyment. We have the world card and the justice. So something coming to a head and like the justice card here is bringing something into balance. Again, this is giving that win-win thing. What is the win-win? How is the win-win going to be affecting you? Like what is the win for you? The nine of wands and the temperance card. Something that you've been like patiently waiting for and I feel like you've had your guard up. There is this sort of like... Your patience is going to pay off here. Your patience is about to pay off. And the Empress, new beginnings, um, birthing, like something, like I said, something that you planted the seed for, some kind of intention. Um, it's like coming to fruition now. Okay, so before I move into the extent, I'm going to pull some more. Be sure if you're interested to check out my hypnotic programmings my money one is currently on sale revise your money mindset and i have a 15 dollars manifestation amplifier so check those both out and let's see what does this person want to communicate to you what does this person want to communicate to you we have the queen of cups i feel like they find you the page of cups they find you so open and vulnerable and they really love how like soft you are with your emotions whether you're male or female it's like you're very open and receptive and they want to be more like you in that way like uh, you're so happy and in gratitude for certain things in your life and they're kind of like I should be instead of judging that I should be more like that you know what's going on with this person the Four of Cups. Yeah, this one wants to keep coming out. They're just like dissatisfied with their life. They're dissatisfied with their life. So they're wanting to take some kind of leap of faith here. They're wanting to break out of old negative patterns. And they're, re they're waking up and they're realizing that they've been really dissatisfied with their life, but that they've created that problem for themselves. So in the extended, I'm going to be pulling from the archetype cards. We'll pull from the tea leaf tarot romance angels message cards so if you're interested in seeing a little deeper look into this be sure to join my membership community and i will see you guys over there